When we talk about migration, many of us wonder if our ancestors only migrated through land or did they cross water bodies too. We all know that our ancestors hopped their way around Southeast Asia way before we invented boats. This leaves two possibilities, although bizarre, in their own ways. One is they either wandered onto chunks of land that became detached and were borne away by winds and ocean currents, or they were sophisticated enough to have made primitive rafts. This is something experts are still piecing together, but there's a growing body of evidence that as humans left Africa and scattered across the globe, they often did so by traversing land bridges that are now underwater and in other cases by crossing oceans. For example, there was no other way they might have gotten to Australia without crossing a water body. There was always ocean between the continent and Asia from which its early inhabitants apparently came. It may well have been a less daunting passage at times of lower sea levels, however. So, did they just drift on currents hoping to bump into land, or was their navigation more intentional? One study suggested that more than 700,000 years ago, early humans floated from Taiwan to the Philippines on large islands that broke off from the mainland. Another study from researchers at the University of Tokyo suggests that in case of the ancient migration from Taiwan to the Ryukyu Islands in southwestern Japan, Okinawa, 30,000 years ago, the travel was more intentional. Yosuke Kaifu of the University Museum of the University of Tokyo in a study say that the ancient sailors would have known of the islands because they were visible from the top of a mountain on the coast of Taiwan, although not down along the coast itself. The waters between Taiwan and the Ryukyu Islands represented an opportunity for the researchers and they hypothesized that sailors were unlikely to have crossed it accidentally and if they crossed this sea deliberately, it must have been a bold act of exploration. Besides this idea that our ancestors intentionally crossed waters, there are people with different thinking. Some say that they never had to cross any other water body at all because of some ice bridges that existed between certain parts of the world or even land bridges that appeared during periods of high glaciation. Some others say that ocean migration was significantly simplified by the fact that ocean levels were much lower in those days due to ice age conditions, although it was an impressive achievement for the time. Until recently, most researchers would have dismissed such talk of Ice Age marinas and coastal migrations. Nobody, after all, has ever unearthed an Ice Age boat or happened upon a single clear depiction of an Ice Age dugout or canoe. Nor have archaeologists found many coastal campsites dating back to more than 15,000 years. But recent studies have changed that, and researchers have even devised a way to test the possibility of an accidental arrival. Kaifu, upon meeting the study's Taiwanese co-authors, experts in the Kurishio, outlines of a plan became clear. At the Ryukyu Islands, Kaifu and his team set 138 satellite-tracked boys adrift and tracked how many of them managed to float over to the islands. Only four of the boys came within 20 kilometers of any of the Ryukyu Islands, and all of these were due to adverse weather conditions. This was an unlikely factor in the human traveler's voyage because if you weren't an ancient mariner, it's very unlikely you would have set out on any kind of journey with such a storm on the horizon. The results reveal that the current was more likely to take ancient sailors anywhere but the islands. What this tells us is that the Kurosho, a warm ocean current that flows northeastwardly off the coast of Japan into the northern Pacific Ocean, directs drifters away from rather than towards the Ryukyu Islands. In other words, that region must have been actively navigated. The research appears to answer the riddle of at least this one ancient migration, and Kaifu and his colleagues have succeeded in making a strong argument that the ancient populations in question were not passengers of chance but explorers. What are your thoughts on this, guys? 
do let us know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed it. For more videos like these, do check our channel out and please do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.